We've seen the basic list adapter and what it can do for us. It's actually a bit clunky to code due to the Java lists and Java dictionaries. Custom list adapters give us control and flexibility about how each item looks and what the content is. It also gives us the benefit of avoiding the dictionary objects. We can put in our straight business objects into the list adapter. In this example, we're going to create a contact list as a precursor to our social app. Each item will have a person's name, email address, phone number, and a picture. And it will look like this. So here are our items. We've got the name, email address, phone number, and a picture. So let's see how we built that. First thing is we have a storage class. It's just a contact item. It has the ID, first name, last name, email, phone, and an image resource. That's an int because we've put the resources for the pictures in our drawable folder. Now you might in the future do this with a string resource to indicate a file name, but using an image resource is fine for now. Next thing is we have a resource layout for the contact item. And we have our image view and a name, email, and phone text view. Next up is the contact list adapter. We're creating our contact list adapter class and we're descending it from base adapter, and we do give it our type of template. So we're giving it our contact object as a template type. We're going to pass it in our activity as a context. And we're also going to be passing in a list of contact items. So this is the list of objects that we want to use, essentially binding it to the list. Here's our constructor passing in the context and the list of contacts. There are some required overrides, the list count being the first, and that's just simply the count of the number of members in our list. And the this method with an index, and that's just going to return the contact object at the prescribed position. So we'll pull that out of our list of contacts as well. And get view is where the real meat of it is. Get view is called when the Android operating system wants to display the list and it wants to see the view for each one of the items. So we'll pass in a position. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get the contact item out of our list at the position that's required. It'll pass in a view, and this is a little bit of a caching arrangement. If the view is null, that probably means that it's never been used before. So we'll create the view using our layout for the contact item. And we're using something called a layout inflator, which will take a given resource ID and create a view object out of it. It's very similar to that find view by ID, which we've seen before and we'll see in a couple of lines, but in this case it runs off of that activity context. Now that we've got that view, that's basically our parent view for the controls that we want to populate. So we first want to get the image view and the three text views, and we get them using this view that we just created, and then we find the view by ID, same as we would in a normal activity. We'll take our image view and we'll set its image resource. And we'll set that using our contact items image resource property. We'll take the name and set the text equal to the first name and last name, and just using a normal buffer type. The email text view will take our email address from the contact item, and the phone text view will take the phone number. Finally, there's an override for get item ID, which passes in a position. In this case, we could actually call out the contact ID, but I've just chosen to pass back the position at this point. The activity is actually fairly simple. We have a list view. We create a contacts list. We're going to create ourselves a contact list adapter, passing in this activity as the context. And then we just create a dummy list of contacts. And this could come from a database, but in this case, we're just using demo data. So now that you've seen the code, we'll take a look at it again. And here's our item. So for each one of these items, we have an item resource, that contact item resource layout. And that layout had an image and the three text views. We used our image resource and populated that based on the ID of the image from the contact item. We got the first name and the last name, the email address, and the phone number all from the contact items. So this acts essentially as a bound list. Here's one last little feature of a list view that you get for free, is that it also scrolls. 
One word of warning that list views and scroll views don't behave well together. They get confused as to who's scrolling. So now you can see the amount of power that you have in a list. We can put any sort of layout and bind it to any kind of object that we want using this sort of technique. So that's a very cool thing. And that's going to be the basis of a lot of our app functionality.